Thank you both. These are highly emotional issues. Council, I appreciate uh, the respect shown in court to the public. It's difficult for us on the family court side to have the public in our courtrooms in these very intensely private matters. I, this is the law of the land. I appreciate everybody that was here for being very respectful of the process. So I know that there's a request with regard to the temporary issues. So let me just address that kind of legally today. This case has been fast tracked from the, it doesn't feel that way to you, Mr. but it's been fast tracked. And to me, I'm not, projecting, I have no idea if you feel it's been too fast or too slow. But what I can tell you is pursuant to the Nevada Supreme Court rules, which I try to adhere to as much as I can, even though they're, they're really tough given the volume of cases, there was an emergency motion back in February. That's not even the motion that all of these things are triggered under. But under the Nevada Supreme Court rules, I'm supposed to have a final trial and decision as best I can within six months of the date that the notice motion is contested, the ex parte motion that, that is not the triggering event was February, early February of 2024. We're having trial in June. Um, we're already fast tracking all of this. I believe that I set the trial at the time that I got the emergency motion so that I wouldn't delay it even another 60 days while you guys brief the underlying motion. Um, both counsel knows this, but the parties may not. Every judge goes on a 60-day list on the 10th of every month if we haven't gotten our things out. It's not necessarily a bad list or a good list. We have thousands of cases. Right now, I have four other big trials that are in the queue in front of you. One of them has an oral ruling and takes precedence because it's a jurisdiction matter. The other three are still in front of you. This case will still take precedence the way I do my cases. This case will take second degree precedence. After ruling the jurisdictional issue, you keep that case moving. But because I have a father who's got supervised visitation, his case gets bumped up. So other cases may go on the 60 day submit list, but you guys will actually be the second one in line rather than the fifth one in line. So I do endeavor to get something out to you quickly. The oral ruling on the other case in front of you is to be done no later than I believe July well, so I would expect that you'll have a ruling in this case before the end of July on the expedited basis. All of that tells you, does make you feel any better, Mr. Jewell, as you sit there today with having supervised visit. But in accordance with the law, I don't know how I can act any differently because having found emergency basis and having that reconfirmed during trial today, I stuck with an emergency order, but those emergency orders made or I hear any testimony and evidence. So now I'll have to go back and look at the testimony and evidence and see if it warrants a change um, from the original order or not, and I'll do that quickly. But as far as completely changing all of the temporary orders, Mr. King, I'm not comfortable doing it today because I think I would still have to do it on an expedited basis because I can't say to you today that I've looked at everything that has come into evidence. So I can't make an evidentiary ruling. So I decline to make any changes on an expedited basis other than I will move their case to the second in the queue rather than the fifth because I do think that it warrants that, that degree. Uh, is there anything else that I can give as far as timeline? So counsel, if you don't have a ruling from me by the end of the month, I'm happy to try to do an oral ruling, but in this case, I think it's just gonna be best if I draft it myself anyway. Uh, I expect you're going to have a ruling by the 29th of July. My hope is that you have it faster than that. Uh, but looking at the trials on calendar and what's coming up, you will have it by July 29th. So we will tip it for that day, one way or the other. Council knows that if I get in a bind and can't get, I'm sure that this order will be incredibly lengthy. If it's going to be one of those orders that I just can't get 